Welcome back to Making a Difference on Buzz TV. I'm Mike White. Join me today is Billy Wagner with Brightway Insurance. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much for having me. It's a pleasure to be here. So Leadership Jacksonville, class of 2016. Yes. So what was the greatest memory that you have from going through the LJ experience? I think it's just the relationships with people. I think, you know, I learned so much about the city. I've lived here for 15 years and didn't know so many things. And now it's th that relationships of things that are going on in the community and, and helping my you know, helping my, my fellow classmates achieve their goals. So you, tell me about your experience within, I'm, you're a Rotarian. Yes. You're very involved in the community. Prior, you were talking about a program with Daniel, but tell yeah. me about your community involvement. Yeah, so one of my core values is I wanna make an impact in the community. So I'm always looking for things that I can do that with. And Leadership Jacksonville is one of those things. Uh, I was the president of Rotary. Last year, I just came off uh, being the president of a great club, Rotary Club of Ponte Vedra Beach. And uh, that's what makes the hair on the back of my neck stick up, is helping other people and doing so in, in our community. The different elements you learned through the Leadership Jacksonville program, what were you able to take back to your company at Brightway Insurance? Yeah, I think I understood a little bit more about myself, you know, the whole personality profiling, you know, whether I'm introvert, extrovert, those kind of things. And uh, also just the connections of folks in the community and something like this would have never happened had I not been in Leadership Jacksonville. So those connections have been really powerful. So as you were going through Rotary, um, and obviously becoming the president, there's a lot of responsibilities behind that. Um, what are some of the different roles or um, challenges actually that you would have as a Rotarian that you helped accomplish as president? Yeah, so I, I really enjoy, I mean, you have to, it's a big time commitment. So I had to reorganize my life and try to get 15 to 20 hours back. So I did a lot of crazy things to, to get some free my time up to be able to, to execute there. And I think we, we really focused on engagement and we have a waiting list as a club. So people are trying to get into that organization. We focused on making sure the meetings were amazing and people loved them when they came. So there was kind of a buzz uh, about our club and, and that's kind of spread. It's that's really actually, um, as you mentioned that, that's, that's amazing the fact that the civic organization does have a waiting list because yeah. most membership civic organizations are having the opposite problem is trying to recruit new young people in. Um, you mentioned the program that you have as a feeder, Rotaract. Tell me yeah. a little bit about Rotaract and how that feeds Rotary. Yeah, it's, it's one of the best clubs in the world, the Rotaract Club in the beaches area. They, they're just young professionals. They're looking to get better and we mentor them. So about 30 of us mentor one of those young professionals and teach them. And that's the greatest thing about Rotary and, and that Rotaract program is they can learn from the things that we made mistakes on and they're better for it. And they do so much in the community. They, they're really pretty phenomenal. And I know our future is very bright because we have them. So tell me about your experiences with Daniel. Yeah, so uh, I, I was a, I'm a big brother in the Big, big Brother Big Sister Excellent. program, and I've been doing that for 10 years, and my little had a traumatic experience about a year ago, and I didn't know what to do. So I reached out to Jim Clark, who led that organization mm -hmm. for 27 years, and said, hey, can you help me? They just put their arms around him, they counseled him, and I knew that I had to do something to give back to them. And so being the president of Rotary, we, we've raised over a million dollars for local charities, so we get to a point uh, a large beneficiary to them. So I knew I wanted to do that. So we donated 15,000 and we were still short. They wanted to fund a transportation van. And so we wanted to call it the Jim Clark Express to honor Jim's 27 years. And so we did a push up contest at Rotary uh, where we all donated money and we bet on who was gonna win. And I asked some of my partners to, to help Brightway Insurance of Ponte Vedra contribute a large sum of money. And as of yesterday, we fully funded that van. $25,000 was raised through a lot of people helped out um, to make that happen. It's pretty cool. Congratulations. Yeah. And I know Brightway, you guys are such leaders in the community and we know several people from different offices, but what do you enjoy most about being a part of Brightway? Yeah, I think it's, it's a winning organization. We have a really cool, uh, game plan of, of winning. We're using technology and th just that momentum that we have is really fun. And I think we're able to help people and, and what makes the hair on the back of my neck stick up is helping the folks that work with me uh, achieve their goals and, and Brightway gives me that opportunity to do that. Excellent. Well, Billy, thank you for coming on the show. Thank you for watching Making a Difference. We'll see you next time on Buzz TV.